Hi friends, welcome back to Cadable. This is Engineer Abraham Umar, and today we'll create a rope in SolidWorks. This would be practice exercise 24 of this playlist, and I will provide its file in the description link so you can download it from there and you can practice. So let's go to SolidWorks and let's go to a new, select part and select OK. And now we are in SolidWorks interface. So first of all, as usual, I will change my background to plain white and I will set my units to MMGS. OK, so uh, basically I will use sweep command to create this uh, row. And uh, first I will create path. So let's say I will select front plane, select sketch and I will create a very random spline. Let's say one point here and uh, one point here, one point here and maybe up to here okay uh, let's select center line and i will create one center line here i will select this is spline hold control key i will select this center line and i will give them a relation called tangent okay uh, just select this spline right click and you can see the curvature combs just right click and hide uh, well we can delete some points on this spline and uh, i think i can delete this point as well and uh, I will not dimension it. It is just a random spline. So just exit this sketch. Basically, this is the rope path. Uh, now I will create a cross section or profile of this uh, rope. So I will require a plane that would be perpendicular to this uh, path. So it would be, let's say, right plane, select right plane, select the sketch, view normal. And now I will create uh, one circle here and uh, let's dimension this circle to maybe let's say 20 millimeters and uh, now i will create uh, four circles i will take this quadrant as the center of this newly created circle and i will end up the circle here okay let's create uh, three more circles and let's create this last circle taking this point as center and i will end up this point here now i will trim the unnecessary part so let's go to the trim entities first i will trim this part and uh, then i will trim let's say this part so this would be cross section of this uh, rope and uh, just exit this sketch uh, you can see that it is still underdefined so it is your task to create a rope with uh, fully defined sketches uh, it is just for practice uh, just like this one uh, exit a sketch uh, now i will use this option sort boss space uh, sort boss space takes uh, two input one is the profile that we have just created and one is the path so a sketch profile is this one and uh, this path is this one and now you can see that a very simple sweep uh, i will use some options to convert this simple sweep into a realistic rope and uh, profile uh, orientation is uh, follow path and in the profile twist uh, i will use this one specified twist value and uh, i will change this to revolutions and let's say i will use uh, uh, 8 or maybe 6 merged uh, tangent faces yes and uh, we can apply some thin feature as well and select ok and now you can see that this simple sweep is converted into a row ok Uh, now I will go to uh, here appearance and uh, under appearance let's say I will search for cloth so let's go to here maybe fabric cloth and let's say I will search for uh, this one blue cotton just double click and now you can see the texture uh, I will convert to let's say this one beige cotton double click let's go to here and first i will remove this appearance 
now you can see that this appearance is applied okay we can render this as well so just go to your render tools i go to here uh, integrated preview turn on perspective view and your rendering will be calculated So that concludes this uh, uh, practice exercise 24 and uh, uh, if you have any questions uh, uh, related to this tutorial or any other tutorial in my list uh, you can ask in comment section thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel for more informative and interesting projects.